Luca's goal for the first half of the film is to obtain a Vespa, and it is obvious from the start that he isn't going to do that. This film contains a very large amount of nostalgic imagery, to the point where it takes nearly half of the movie for them to start training for the race and for the plot to be set in motion. There's a clear theme of don't be afraid of who you are, but that was obvious from the beginning. Once upon a time, there was a sea monster boy named Luca. Every day he dreamed about going to the surface. One day, Luca's parents threatened to send him to the deep, and so Alberto takes him to the surface, and they decide to obtain a Vespa to travel the world. Because of that, they visit the human town of Porto Rosso, where they enter a race along with Giulia. Because of that, Giulia introduces Luca to the outside world, and Luca wants to go to school, unlike Alberto. Until finally, well, the rain clouds appearing were a complete non sequitur and would have affected Luca even if Alberto was competing since Luca was doing the bike stage. Ercole isn't relevant to the main plot since what he feels after finding out that Luca and Alberto are monsters is exactly the same as what everyone else feels. Luca wants to visit the surface, and he gets to visit the surface. He doesn't get in serious trouble for anything he does on the surface. Luca gets to stay in the human world and be recognized, but he has to leave Alberto behind. The production team made trips to the Italian Riviera in order to do research for the film. It makes no sense that Luca isn't seriously injured and doesn't get into serious trouble at any point in the film. Enrico Casarosa based this film heavily off of his personal experience as a child. Many of the sea monsters were based on local Italian folklore. Though this film was based largely off of personal experience, it also makes the main characters sea monsters, which is a new and original idea. Luca's strong opinions are that he wants to live on the surface, win the race, and go to school, and none of these are presented as wrong or unjustified. Enrico Casarosa wanted to tell the story of him and his best friend growing up, and base Luca on himself and Alberto on his best friend. It doesn't make sense that Luca would run away from home when his family isn't abusive, especially since he doesn't even think about his parents while he is with Alberto and Giulia. During the first half of the film, Luca and Alberto don't get in trouble for anything that they do. This film shares many themes with Enrico Casarosa's 2011 short film La Luna, which undoubtedly served as inspiration for this film. At the end, Luca has to win the race against Ercole. However, Luca knew that Ercole was going to cheat regardless of Luca being a sea monster, and Luca was training for the race for most of the movie. It sure is convenient that none of the humans find out about Luca and Alberto being sea monsters until the end, and that Luca's parents take a long time to find him. Yeah. 
This movie shares a fundamental Pixar theme of the protagonist making a new friend and experiencing character development. This is one of Pixar's most personal films, making it very easy to identify with the main characters. Luca visits the surface for the first time and is invited by Alberto to travel the world. They travel to a human town to obtain a Vespa and have to keep their identity secret. The truth comes out. But the townspeople realize that sea monsters aren't a threat, and so Luca and Alberto are accepted into human society. Also, they have to deal with antagonist Ercole, who doesn't know about their sea monster status.